everyone, welcome back to the Nomadcraft SMP server. I'm Yevo, and today we're gonna go run a couple errands on the server. I wanna show you guys what I have, you know, planned next for the area across the bridge that you see in the, well, kind of see in the background, you know, the trees are covering it. We're gonna make a quick trip to spawn, check out shops, and, you know, make a purchase as well. And we're gonna do a couple things with, you know, that involve beacons. Uh, we're gonna pay a trip to Zen Master Sloth Space as well. If you guys like the video, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot, it helps the channel. Consider subscribing as it really helps out the channel as well. And I'll also leave the Nomadcraft playlist in the description below. So check that out if you guys wanna uh, catch up on any videos that you may have missed. Let's get started. To get started with today's episode, I want to show you guys this kind of uh, roof design cover to the bridge, whatever. Obviously, it's only just one section. I didn't really extend it or, you know, make it the full length of the bridge because I wasn't sure how I felt about it. Uh, it is just one design, but, you know, hopefully I can come up with something else, something better, because I am definitely not a fan of this. I'll probably look into changing, uh, changing it up and, you know, trying different styles, but we'll see how that goes on. I've uh, never really tried building a, like, roof to a bridge, but, uh, I like the idea. I definitely do. I think, like, the right one could look cool. Like, this is, eh, this is very kind of basic, you know, I'm not that much of a fan, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's move on to the other thing which we did. Don't pay attention to these bees, I'm just, you know, harvesting some honeycomb to make some of those. I keep, I always mess up, are those the beehives or bee nests? Anyways, I'll hide chat real quick, that was just zen, good to see he's back on the server. But yeah, our chicken cooker is working pretty well. I don't know why in the beginning it wasn't really cooking the chicken. But as you can tell, you know, we all have almost two stacks of cooked chicken here, a bunch of feathers. So it is working wonders, you know. Probably uh, fix this little, you know, pathway up to the chicken cooker uh, later in this episode. You know, hopefully I can uh, work on this. Maybe you guys can leave me some comments about what you want me to change or what you think might look good for the roof. You know, I don't even know what you would call a roof or covering of the bridge. So if you watched my stream, you would have seen that I went uh, wither uh, skeleton hunting to get uh, wither skulls. And you know, I fought the uh, the wither boss on stream as well. In case you missed it, you can always go back and check, it's on my channel. But so I have a beacon, right? And you know, I want to put it down in that area by uh, all my farms and barns and whatnot. Uh, so we'll do that in a sec. Oh. Pigman must have died here. But what I want to do first, I want to go over to spawn, go to Magpie's shop. I know she sells rockets. Uh, and, you know, we bought some before, so I'm going to go check her shop out and hopefully, okay, we got to go this way. Hopefully uh, get my hand on some rockets, you know, spend a few diamonds, get the good stuff. Hope I'm going in the right direction. Okay, yeah, that's Magpie's path. Spawn should be over there. But yeah, I will do that and I will catch up with you guys in a sec. Oh, I just came to spawn and look at this shop right here. This is amazing. Okay, it looks like a little blaze shop, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, this is super, super cool. Two stacks for one diamond. We'll fix that. Wow, job well done, I must say. This is a uh, this is a sick shop. Oh my goodness. Got our rockets. Now let's head back to our base. All right, we're back at my base now. So what I want to do is grab some iron for the beacon base. And we'll just grab an ingot to charge the beacon. Okay, I think I should probably take a piece of glass because I think I'm going to do it underwater. I could put it under under the water here. That might be cool. But where should I do it? Should I do it underwater? I think I'll just probably just put it over here somewhere. And then put a uh, little piece of wool over it. What we'll do is put it right... That's open, so we'll just go straight down here. Oh, lapis? At this Y level? That is interesting. Alrighty, almost done building this thing. Found a cave down here to just put it in, that way I didn't have to dig anything out, which is super convenient for me. Alright, we're gonna do speed, or haste too. 
Perfect. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do is make the upper part, you know, that's visible to the land, just, you know, look a little prettier, I guess. Alright, what I need now is some brown carpet. Perfect, we got an extra one. And then we'll put that on top of the glass over here, and it'll kind of blend in with the ground. And we got extra haste too over here. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna go make a day. So uh, I was just talking to Zen, Zen Master Sloth, and they have a, a pretty big project that they're working on with Wurtworts, and they're, you know, they're trying to set up some farms and stuff, so I'm gonna, you know, donate a beacon to them. Don't think he, they need the iron, because uh, Zen has his own iron farm, so I'm gonna drop off a uh, beacon for him real quick, so they can, you know, mine the stone faster. I figured, you know, I have a bunch of them, have a bunch of skulls that I need to still fight the wither with or four, you know, to make a beacon. Yeah, definitely can help him out. Yeah, you can see he's working over here on this whole, uh, finding this whole area out. They want to make a level kind of field for, for a bunch of different farms, like a tree farm and other things, I'm assuming too. Let's see where Zen is. I know he was just here. He's probably going for iron. There he is. There he is. Sorry, I just went to grab the iron real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, call, no uh, problem. Here you go, got the goodie for you. Oh, dude, that is awesome! Thank you very you much. Go. Yeah, uh, no what, problem. What should I, uh, what should I give you in return if I, if I want to keep this? I'll think about it. Don't really know anything right now. All right, you think, you think about it. You let me know. I, I'm sure you're probably not hurting on, on things, but you know, I noticed you got a little bit of netherite. I don't have any of that yet, so, but I do have access to some pretty easy tools and yeah. enchantments yep. uh so yeah like armor. i said i'll let you know definitely but yeah knock Sounds yourself good. out i appreciate it man yeah no problem oh yeah definitely will thank you all right yep see you later see you later all righty so since i gave zen one of my beacons you see i got three skulls here i'm gonna go fight the wither Get another beacon so I can put it back in that cave where uh, it originally was. I think I'll probably just take the wither over here where this big little caving area is. You know, fight it down there. I'll just trap it, kill it. Pretty quick, pretty simple. So what we'll do is I'll just go down. Oh, yeah, I just took a bunch of damage from that. How did that block? I didn't even... All right, anyways, we're down in the cave where I do the mining. What I will do is this direction a little bit. I'd rather get cobbled deep slate rather than regular deep slate because regular deep slate is kind of useless. Doesn't look too good. Builds and stuff. Should be pretty quick. Not too difficult, right? There's one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay. Iron. While we're at it, get some extra blocks on the hotbar and we should be good to fight once he charges up. Yeah, pretty, pretty simple so far. and three obsidian. All right, there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Now we need one. I guess it could have been gold, but we need one ingot to power up the beacon beam. So what we'll do is go back down in the cave, put the beacon where we took the last one from, and we should be all set back to how it used to be. We got a bunch of clothes squid spawning here. That's funny. Base two, there we go. And let's get some glowing sacks. All right, I just logged on and, oh, here it is. Gift from Sebi for the shulker box that I gave him before. I didn't know it was right there, but I was gonna say, I just logged on cause Sebi told me on our Discord server that he left me a gift. And before I continue, if you wanna join our server Discord, I'll leave that in the description you could join. You know, get to know the community, get to know all of his players that kind of thing i believe we'll be taking we'll be letting new players join if you you know apply sometime in the near future so you could definitely do that but let's check out what sebi left us uh in this little gift oh wow hey okay bunch of leather nice enchanted books 
Dang, okay. This is a great gift. Awesome. Well, thanks, Sebi. I'll definitely, you know, reach out in the Discord. Thank you for that. Um, but this all also going to wrap up today's episode. So I want to thank you guys for watching. You, if you made it this far in the video, consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video. Also, consider subscribing as it really helps me out. Be sure to check out, you know, the Nomad Craft playlist if you missed any of my previous videos. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video or on an upcoming stream. I think I'll be streaming sometime this weekend. So, you know, be sure to check that out. Anyways, bye guys.